All right, we are going to try to add some content to our book. Now I'm gonna show you lots of different pieces of content, and then I'm gonna show you the comic panels. So while this might be a little bit of a longer video, feel free as I try something, pause, and do that thing. You don't have to wait till the end of this whole video. So I'll remind you, pause, try inserting this, just so that we can take that time to add the different items. So now that I'm back on my book, you can see I even add a little bit more to my cover. I was able to add some text with my name, a bit of a background. Remember, when you just have a page selected, that inspector button always shows you what you can do per page. And what I love on here is there's different backgrounds I can choose from colors. I even love that I can choose different types of paper. So if you wanted to do things like have some lined paper or graphing paper or musical notation for school. And of course, I can do things like borders, patterns. So we're going to play with some of these different pieces when we get to our pages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my arrow, my next page arrow, and now I'm on page two of three. And I'm going to remember to go back to my planning template for what do I wanna tell in my story? So I'm gonna tell the first part of this poem. I'm gonna hit the add item. And now what I can do is I can look at some different media. So I could of course use my camera. When I use my camera, it's not gonna let me use it right now because I am recording for you. But what's fantastic is you're gonna be able to take a picture or record a video right in here. So you could record yourself reading it, or maybe you wanna be able to just take a picture of you, the author. So give that a try and put it on there. And I will record one and put it on mine after. So pause here and try inserting something on your book that you've recorded. The next thing I want you to try adding, of course, is going back to media, is being able to look at what you can do with your import button. So just remember, I can do my Google image search. So maybe I wanted to go find a Christmas tree. I like typing the word P and G after I do a search because this helps me find images that don't have backgrounds. So I can go ahead and I'm gonna go search for the Christmas tree that I wanna be able to put in my story, select, and it's gonna put it on the page. Now what's great is I can move this around by resizing it, by dragging the corners. And of course I can drag this anywhere I want it to go. So I could make an entire Christmas scene just with images on the page so that everybody can sort of see what it is I'm trying to illustrate. So take a pause here and try inserting some images on your slides. Now you can see I've added a couple more images to my scene. Just remember, if I want my tree to be in front of my fireplace, if I right click on the image, a couple of the things that I can do is I can move to the front or move to the back, which is really nice. This way, I don't have to block other items in my scene. So I can start to build this out however I want it to go. Another really neat feature is if you don't want somebody to move something on your page, remember that you can use lock. What that does is no matter where I click on here, I'm not gonna accidentally move around. See, I can still move my tree, but I can't move this chimney that is gonna make it easy as you have some more interactive things on your page. So give that a try and have those images. Okay, now it's time to use the pen. So much fun. When I choose the pen, it's going to give me some ideas of tools. So I can do things like have a marker, a crayon, a paintbrush. I am going to show you though the auto draw tool and we're gonna make some Christmas items for this tree. Now, keep in mind, of course, I can change the size that I wanna be able to do. And as well, I can change the color. There's even magic ink. Like, look at this, I can choose gold sparkle for this. My tools is going to be auto, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw a Christmas star. Let's see if auto finds it. Yes, look what I was looking for. I want a Christmas star for my tree. And so I can put in many wonderful items right on here and choose that. I can close it, and now I'm going to be able to see what else do I want to draw. I'm going to keep on going with this auto, 
and maybe I can put some ornaments. I'm just going to draw some circle ornaments on here. And yes, I want, oh, it even knows I was looking for an ornament. Look at that. So now what I can do when I say done, it's going to upload them and put them on here and it's going to treat it like an image. Now I drew mine all together, so I should have done this one at a time, but I want you to go ahead and try adding some ink to your page. All right, I have my scene ready. I'm going to keep adding some more pieces of media. Now we've already seen text on the cover. And so you can go ahead and you can add the text that you want to be able to put on the page. So you could go ahead and go back to your planning sheet and pick the text you want. So I have the first part of my poem in, and of course I'm going to be able to say done. Now, don't forget, I can change where I want this text to go. So it's really nice to be able to put it on the page where I want. And of course, I can use my inspection button to be able to change the things like maybe I want to change the font. Look at all the different fonts that I can choose. I can even choose like handwriting fonts, or maybe I want to be able to have a little bit of script so it looks a little bit more magical. Like whatever you want to go through, go ahead and pick that font that you want. And then remember, I can still increase and change the size, make it bold. How can I make this so that the text looks nice on the page? I'm going to get that all set up. And now I have text on the page. So pause here and go ahead and add text to your book. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and practice recording. I love this feature because now we can make books that talk. Such a great way to demonstrate our learning and make stories come to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to record. Right here, I can record the sound and it even shows me my page, which is really fantastic. That's why I like adding text on my page first if I want to be able to record and read. So I'm gonna start my recording. It'll count me down. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even my three very loud kids who are in here while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Just kidding. I get to play it. Twas the night before Christmas when all listen to see if I like it. And then I can use that recording. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to pop it right here. Look, there's my play button. I can even make it bigger and stand out. So maybe I'll put it here by my mouse. So pause the video here and try adding some audio to your book. One last little extra feature I want to show you is that in addition to the camera where you can put in your own pictures and videos, you actually can also insert YouTube videos that already exist. And so I went and did a little YouTube search and the uh, Canadian treasure Michael Bublé has actually narrated it was the night before Christmas. So I watched the whole video, I made sure it's a good video, and I'm going to click share and I'm going to copy that link. Now when I'm on my book, I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus button, media, import, and one of the things I'm looking for is embed. I can go ahead and just control V, paste the link that I just copied from YouTube, and I'm going to confirm the web link. It's going to make sure that it's going to work. So it tells me it's a web page, gives me the title, I'm going to add it to my book. Now what's great about this is I can resize it and put it where I want. Maybe I want to put it down here in my little, my little fireplace area. So you can see how this book is really coming to life. So go ahead, pause the video. This is your last pause and find something on YouTube that you could go ahead and put right on this page. In the next video, we're going to turn this into a comic.